perhaps the most maligned holiday offering is the fruitcake, <laughs> yet it still remains a very popular gift this time of year. Uh, where can you find the fruitcake that can win the taste test? Well, your vote sent us to Minnesota's Iron Range, where Chris Schaefer introduces us to the Sunrise Bakery in Hibbing. Shrouded in mystery is the season of giving, and they've kept quite a secret in this range town of Hibbing. For four generations, they've saved the directions for a version of fruitcake that's rich in confections. At the turn of the 19th century, you know, the Iron Range was a big melting pot of immigrants that were coming here looking for a better future in mining. And Paul's great grandfather, Julio, was a baker, and he started the Sunrise Bakery on Pine Street in Old North Hibbing. All these East Europeans came to dig these ore ditches with last names that ended with Eddie and Itches. They brought their own customs, but they all could agree on this wonderful bread from this small bakery. Yes, it's been over a hundred that this family's been chilling in the very same town that raised Bobby Dillon. Paul makes a lot of the ethnic bank goods, and he makes some of like the sarmas and the pasties. But the problem with fruitcake is most isn't worth eating, so some people throw them or they're used for competing. One use is a doorstop or to hammer a nail. Hide someone a file to break out of jail. And then there's this theory that there is only one. There's, there's, there's quite a few of them, actually. And it's simply re-gifted when the holiday's done. If this theory's true, it should be no real shock when you take a big bite and it's hard as a rock. But this fruitcake's awesome, most folks say with conviction. I love it. That taking one bite could lead to addiction. Now, Sunrise is crazy making holiday treats. They're shipped all over the country for nice folks to eat. There's ciabatta, ricotta, and they're rolling potizza. But this food's Slovenian, unlike your pizza. But where is the fruitcake? It's the reason we're here. See, the 40s are waiting till Christmas draws near. There's a very short window for selling fruitcake. Paul could make it right now if he had his druthers, but then his fruitcake might taste a bit like the others. Don't worry, this couple will soon start to baking an edible fruitcake that's well worth the making. Then they'll sync up their watches, wait for just the right minute, make up the batter, and put all the stuff in it. It's, it's fresh. fresh. So, yeah. you know, there's a short window. It's a couple of weeks a year that it sells. They'll bake it just right, not too long before Christmas. They'll sell it and ship it from island to isthmus. As the ancestors watch from on high, they'll elate. I think he'd be proud. That their own sunrise fruitcake is the best in the state. Congratulations to them. Yes. And, you and, to, some and to producer Joe Berglove, the wordsmith. <laughs> So Chris and I had a bite of the frozen one that was made last year because they're, they're literally starting to make it this year. It's fresh. And we still liked it. Yeah. And I've never been a big fruitcake fan. And I mean, it was amazing how moist it is. And you know, I'm a pretty picky eater. But uh, yeah. you're really not. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> but not. yeah, I, I'm down with the fruitcake. I think it's good. People always rip on it, but it's good. Yeah, I like they, the fruitcake. Why they did a nice job. Okay. You can have, have some, some while I do weather. Okay. Dine away. All right. Thank All right. you. Dine away.